And what's up? It's Commander Candy, aka Daisy, aka the Nicki Minaj of computer programming. My anaconda don't want none unless you know code, hon. Today we are going to start a brand new computer programming project, but this is gonna be fun for you. Like even if you've never done any computer programming before, if you like playing games, especially battle card games, we're gonna make a web browser battle card game. First we have to decide on some things like what we want the rules to be, how we want it to play. You're gonna learn like a few things. You're gonna learn basic computer programming logic and you'll learn web development and some game dev principles. And basically how we're gonna do it is we're gonna come up with the rules for the game. And then I'm gonna show you how to take those rules that we have written in English and use logic in order to turn them into JavaScript functions. And um, it'll be fun. And we can add more later. We're gonna start, we wanna start with it a little bit more basic. Cause anytime you're making any application, your first run, you don't wanna implement everything, right? You wanna start off with the basic skeleton and then keep adding. And then, you know, you always add and change. If you look at any like, most any popular game or website application, they change a lot, right? There's always alterations being done, make it look more modern, make it run faster, better, add in new features. Join me on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are building a battle card game together live on Twitch. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash daisychaincosplay. Not only are my viewers going to be there with me through the entire game development process, from the start of the planning through the final revisions, but... You guys are also gonna help me make the game. My viewers are creating cards, creating rules, creating powers. So come join me, the project just started. So now's the perfect time to start watching and help me make CC battle cards. If you don't know what we've been doing, you can go to codingcommanders.com slash battle cards and it will explain it all to you. You can also find it by googling paladin hat nix. Commander Candice Paladin card is named after the legendary Linux gaming streamer. Do you like adventure, strategy, and roleplay? Hat nix only plays the best games, so follow him on twitch.tv slash hatnix. The front end technologies that we're using include vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We'll also be using JSON files, and I'm using pencil sheep which is open source software available on Linux operating systems in order to do graphic design and photo editing. If you're using Windows, I recommend paint.net for graphic design and photo editing. It is available for $6.99, or if you don't mind using an old version, you can get it for free at oldversions.com. And the backend technologies you, the viewers, are going to get to vote for. I do use Ubuntu Desktop as my operating system. That's a Linux OS. If you're using Windows or OS X, though, um, it shouldn't be a problem. These tutorials are more about the logic than the operating system. The server-side languages, however, you, the viewers, are going to get to vote for. For our server-side language, we can do it in either Node.js or PHP. You decide. And for our database, we're either going to use Postgres or MySQL. Make sure you come to the stream so you can vote. Why I use vanilla JavaScript? It's hard, but we like it hard here with Daisy Jake Cosplay and Cody Commander. What happens is if you're working on like a custom project, sometimes what you're trying to do, there's not a library that exactly does what you're going to do, or sometimes there's conflicts and it's easier to just write something yourself. The new trendy thing is it's cool if like your app works in 10 lines of code, but nothing works in 10 lines of code. There's a bunch of lines behind that. And just because you're using outside libraries doesn't make it 
better necessarily. I mean, I'm not saying I use outside libraries sometimes because obviously you can't write everything by yourself all the time, but you need to understand what's underneath it. So at least when there's a problem, you can go in and really fix it. That's, that's just what I found when I was working professionally. And I got kind of flustered because I got to be like the go-to person. And so like I had my own work to do. And then like I had other people always coming to me with their problems because I'm the one that can brainstorm. But then I, my brain's got to leave what I'm supposed to do and go into them and solve their problems. And like, and then like I was a woman and they were all men. So they all made more money than me. And I was, it, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I kind of got disgruntled. I confess I woke up like this. Flawless code in my local git. Flawless logic you just can't diss. Twitter with another flawless pick. Flawless coding with my flawless witty. I got all these functions. You got include city. If you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you again for watching and until next time. Happy coding. Coding commandos.